Thank <laughs> you. 
What? <laughs> 
Point.
Now, oh, Dab Governor. No? You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Oi, over here! Sigma, look! What is that? Oh, blimey, that hurts. Ah, ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. And it's talking. With an accent. Ah, can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this, not by half. Now, Alice, darling, do I rightly recollect you characterising my speech as coarse? Well, that's right, cruel it is. You really think I asked for this? See, they figured they give us all a, um, a what you call them, a personality. <laughs> Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> right you are, my old son. Right you are. Well, go on. Have a butchers, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Well, nearly there, but they call us golems round here. Golem? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or creator, or whatever commands them to do. Well, aren't you a clever bird? You are, of course, correct. The Golem of Myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Our spellings are my different, though. The original blokes are spelt G-O-L-E-M, but me and me mates are G-A-U-L-E-M. That's an acronym for General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. Now, truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out all like that, but I figured they wanted to make sure they had the Gollum thing in there, you know, what with us being robots and all. Ah, that don't seem quite kosher. After all, all of me mates here are Gollums too. I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM. That's way too long. We can't remember that. What? You taking the mickey out of me? Never had a problem myself. Right then, let's just use the last bit, shall we? G O L M? Golem. Well, well I'll be buggered. <laughs> Can't say I ever noticed that before. Sure, it's a strange coincidence, isn't it? Gentlemen can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? <laughs> oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, Sigma, and you too, Luna. <laughs> I'm right familiar with all nine. Don't know. Oh, they got cameras all over this place. 
and then again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw. And they're all hidden away, so I suppose I can't really blame you for missing them, eh? Now, as I was saying, there were these cameras, you see, and all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So, I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I know everything you've done. Does that mean... you're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey. Are you bleeding serious? Oh, you gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero. The Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. My humble self, and knows what the misfortune to be like me, are more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central core. Um, no, not quite, Governor, not quite. I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Of course not. Right you are, missus. It'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. Well, we're like your arms or legs. The Gorham seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. In fact, the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body. Which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? In the mainframe? Spot on. So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and hears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and, and those decisions beget commands. Now those commands are sent over the wireless like boop 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 and eventually my body picks them up. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. That's why this thing's like a computer terminal, you see. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor, eh? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Oh, I suppose you could say that. What we are sharing the mainframe and all. <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of the mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. I'm an independent core. Uh, Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. <laughs> <laughs> you sure, Governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. And now you're, you're frowning and your forehead's getting all wrinkly. Do you do these things on purpose? Well, when you crossed your arms, were you thinking, Right then, let's cross them, shall we? Curl on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows, I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. That's what you was thinking, isn't it? No? <laughs> Didn't reckon so. I figured you did all of that subconsciously. Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that'll help. How's about when you reach for your tea? When you turn a page in your book? Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pair on that bird you fancy? <laughs> yeah, the list goes on, me chums. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. Now, true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. <laughs> Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had to deal with all the piddly bits of living, it'd make you balmy. That's how us golems and the young master get along. You, um, you got it all sorted now, chums? 
Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? Righto! Ugh, blimey. Uh, guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. And you said your back hurt earlier. Are you just messing with us? Yes, I did. And no, I ain't. Me back is a right mess, it is. Last maintenance check, they just left me here. I've been on this bed here for years. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? Why do you think, love? Because you lot turned me on, is why. Especially that other missus over there. Right you are, Governor. Can you come with us, then? The others need to see this. <laughs> no, I can't, and more's a pity. I can only go as far as this cable here will let me. I've got internal batteries, but they're knackered. A matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. The same goes for these other blokes, too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am, so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Huh? What question is that? Right, right, so you did. Not sure why you've got to bug up your arse about that particular issue, though. Know? Curious, are you? Oh, that's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. The kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Just lend me your lords and peers for a tick. So, how can a robot get stiff shoulders? And what does pain mean to a robot? Tell me, Guff, you ever heard of the Chinese room?
Um. Yes? Is there any particular reason this girl is, um, pretty? Or, or why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? Can't say there is. Just tickles me fancy, I guess. But the prettier the bird is, the more fun the story is, isn't it? <laughs> what? What? Right. Well, what I wanted to say was this. All them Chinese blokes outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had. So it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them. You see? After all, far as they can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. You thick? I feel pain when me body's having a spot of bother. Well, hold up, mate, this ain't right. We keep this up and we're buggered. If things go really pear-shaped, we'll be brown bread. So says the central computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. In the interest of extricating my body from his unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless, and my software interprets that signal as pain, and I stop doing whatever daft thing I was doing. It's the same, isn't it? Just like the Chinese room. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? Use your loaf, Missy. You listen to a word I've said. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't, like sit your bum down on a tap, right? Same thing for us robots. If you feel like being clever about it, there ain't really that much different between a human and a robot. Forget all about that mainframe and signal bollocks, and us golems ain't that different from the bird in the room. So think about it, love. How do you know humans ain't the same just without all the electronic y pony, huh? What if, when someone asks you a question, all you're doing is pulling out the right answer from some sort of phrase book in your brain? <laughs> ain't no way to prove that, of course, but far as I can see, there ain't no reason to. I mean, it's all the same, isn't it? If you're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language processing machine, all what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. You want to live a normal life? That's all you need to know. Lay it on me, Governor. Ah, right you are, mate, right you are. Got so carried away, I near forgot. Haven't seen anyone for yonks, and I got a mighty excited as all. Ugh, just spit it out. Right, right. Well, uh, there was something I wanted to tell you lot. What was it? Patience, darling. Now, I know I might look a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I ain't really supposed to. Same thing for the rest of the blokes here. Fact is, the reason we look a bit like skeletons is because we are a bit like skeletons. There's this special artificial biological tissue what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes us look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars, and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of... Command violation. Rogue processes detected. Product ID. G T M C M G O L M. Executing emergency deactivation. Unit G T M C M G O L M. 
now inactive. No other rogue processes detected in additional Gollum platforms. Returning to surveillance mode. It looks like it. Wonder what he was trying to tell us. See, right in the middle of... An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. Someone on the other team must have opened it. We have to hurry! Thank <laughs> you.